A little boy nearly starved to death in his own home. Now prosecutors say his own mother and grandparents tried to kill him. All three are in custody tonight. This story sparked outrage across the country. The child neglected and forced to eat insects to survive. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Matt Belanger is in Mercer County tonight with this story. Matt, so heartbreaking. Shannon and Mike, I know. And you'll remember that this boy was described as a human skeleton by a concerned individual who spotted him and notified authorities. He's eight years old now, and we're told he's gaining weight under the care of doctors at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh. And this afternoon, the people who were supposed to be caring for him arrived here at the Mercer County Courthouse and left in handcuffs. Why did you start what do you have to say about these charges? What do you have to say? 28 year old Mary Rader, who family members tell us is currently pregnant, looked stunned and didn't say a word as she was taken to Mercer County Jail. Her parents, Dennis and Dina Begley, came and went in much the same way. Prosecutors now say the abuse that happened inside the Greenville Mercer County home, where all three lived with four children, was more than neglect. It amounted to an attempt to kill the young boy by starvation. In court, we learned medical records show the eight year old boy never weighed more than 40 pounds. By the time Children and Youth Services intervened, in early June, he weighed just 25 pounds a few days before his eighth birthday. Cindy Schuffstahl is a relative who became emotional when the disturbing details of the boy's condition were read in court. I was abused from the time I was little, and the abuse is always there. It's never going to go away, and that little boy is going to have to live with this the rest of his life. This afternoon, we learned when Raider or the Begleys were questioned about the boy's weight, they would blame it on a medical condition. The defense pointed out when investigators questioned the boy, he told them he was being fed and treated well, and nothing inside the home was out of order. But in the end, the judge allowed the more serious attempted murder charges to be applied as he sent the case to trial. And he thought it was okay. He thought they loved him. He thought he was getting three meals a day. He thought that was normal to eat whatever they fed him. Tuna? Tuna and some eggs. Now, all of the children who lived in that house are in foster care. And in a strange turn of events this afternoon, when the judge announced these defendants were going to be taken into custody, about 50 people from the community who had gathered in the courtroom to watch the proceedings actually burst into applause for a short time until court was called back into order. Live in Mercer County, I'm Matt Belanger, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.